when you flip open the device, the display switches around just like you would expect. You get a different version of the main menu. Not sure why they do that. I'll show you how the messaging works. Pretty simple interface, two different tabs, one for the message, one for the person you're sending it to. In general it works pretty well, but I find it sometimes hits double key presses when I'm not intending it. Intending it. Full enter key, nice four row QWERTY layout, very easy to use. Quite pleased with it in general. Also, email on the device. It's a Java client, it has access to only a certain number of providers. So you can add AIM, AOL, and that kind of thing. There's that response to the text messages telling that it's a valid, invalid number. Let me delete that. I have a Hotmail account set up right now, but you're really kind of limited in terms of the type of accounts you can set up. And you can see I'm having trouble with the touchscreen. Seems to be a little miscalibrated. You have to hit a little high. Anyway, the list of vendors, Yahoo, AOL, AIM, MSN, AT&T, Yahoo, Bell South, and then a few more on this page. But that's it. There's no ability to put your own IMAP or POP account on there. You see I have Hotmail already. It's going to sign in. Mail client's kind of slow. It seems to access the server for pretty much anything you're trying to do. Bring up a message. Takes two taps. But it's workable. You can do all the normal functions forward, reply, market is unread again. Also IM clients. It all works over a decently speedy 3G connection. You can see we have AIM, MSN, and Yahoo Messengers. Pull up the main menu again. Also support for the media mall for applications and ringtones, things like that. Singular video, or cellular video rather, they've renamed it. See what they have in terms of games on the device. Just these three, one of them is Sudoku. Pull that up. Oh, it's just a demo. Can't actually play it. Support for the AT&T Navigator by Telenav.
and a few generic organizer type applications, calendar calculator, tip calculator, notepads. You see that scrolling is kind of counterintuitive, it goes the other direction from what you would normally think. You're not grabbing the page so much as you're grabbing the scroll mechanism no matter where you are on the display. So that's our look at the AT&T Quickfire, hot little QWERTY messaging device with a nice capacitive touchscreen. It's going after the Sidekick market. It kind of misses some of the polish that the Sidekick line of devices has, but it has some functionality they don't have. Um, really has a nice keyboard, and that touchscreen is going to appeal to a lot of people. It's available at a relatively reasonable cost. It's only $99.99 with a new two-year agreement, and it's available now. Check it out, the AT&T Quickfire.